is an elaborate cave system that was built for a secret society of wealthy men. It's also said bizarre rituals took place here. I swear I saw something. There was Satanism, devil worship, terrible things probably went on down here. We found bones. <laughs> Yeah. Sarah's here. Sarah Baroness Le Dispenser, dying wow. 1769. Of all the names right in the center of the entire model. You confirm that there are still things happening. Directly beneath the church was what was known as the Inn Temple. This was looked upon as hell. This is such a weird feeling right here. Whoa, you can just feel everything being pushing jelly forwards or backwards. Can you show me clearly the last few Dude, it literally goes hide, hide, hide. So this guy's been walking around here. He's actually red. Jerry hit his head. Suki got hit in the head by a rock. It's like equally reciprocated. It literally says clear result. As you're debating about this whole thing. And they say that her tormented soul still wanders down these tunnels. This is night one of eight from our UK and Ireland series. And what I believe to be the best videos the Overnight Channel has ever made. We pushed every single limit, gave this everything we can, and worked with the best experts we possibly could find to make the best paranormal investigation videos possible. We worked with a demonologist to talk directly to the underworld. We then went to Pendle Hill to work with a coven of witches to summon something as well, where we were joined by Dan. After that, we go to the Ancient Ram Inn to work with Colin and Connor Paranormal Files and perform a blood ritual that worked drastically. Then off to the Spirit Inn, the most haunted hotel arguably in the world, we stayed the night in the three most tragic rooms with Dan as well. Then finally getting access to the London Tombs, the Black Plague Pit, where the evidence captured there is life-changing and after life changing and your perspective in it. Then we go over to Ireland to document something incredible in one of the most haunted jails. But the ultimate thing that we have done, we got permission to go on an island that was deemed so unsafe, so unholy, and so dangerous, it was shut down by the Pope. We got on the island with no way off, with tents, and only our ghost equipment get the best evidence we can, which I truly believe. In the finale, it's right here, the Hellfire Club in Dublin, Ireland. Without further ado, enjoy the series. I promise you, we gave this everything we can to give you the best videos we possibly can deliver with the coolest paranormal evidence I truly believe we've ever captured. Welcome back or welcome to the Overnight Channel, everyone. This is day one of our UK and Ireland trip. We're starting it off strong. These are the Hellfire Caves just outside of London. It's about 4.30 in the morning. We're leaving right now. On this UK trip and this entire series, we're pulling out all the stops. For the first time ever, we worked with the demonologist. We also worked with a psychic medium and we got access to the mausoleum that sits above the Hellfire Caves for the first time in years. So we are doing every single thing we can every night on this trip to put together the best investigations we can. And what happens tonight with Jerry, I've never seen before in my entire life. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. And somehow the demonologist was the best person to help this entire investigation from beginning to end is a journey. And we believe by the end of the night, we kind of found the answer and told the story. Enjoy this video and the rest of the series. Jerry got knocked out by a demon. We need to run that back. I have no I idea. You want to? No, no, no. I'm gonna run back the tape. No, no. I, I just wanted to Come see. On, back. Back. No. Oh, hey, help! Elton, by the way. Willow. 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 Guys. Jerry. Nice to meet you. Like, welcome to help. Yeah. <laughs> to put it simply, <laughs> we've had customers coming up seeing things, people with scratches, that sort of thing, all day. Scratches. During the daytime? During the daytime, we're open to the public, just general admission, nothing spooky, oh. lights on. Oh my god. And then as soon as we had our um, psychics come in, we're like, some, like, I literally can't stop shaking. Yeah. It's going to be hostile. It's don't know if it's something you guys brought with you, or because some of our spirits don't like young men, so 
that might be something. Uh, <laughs> how, how young we're talking? Yeah. Young what? men. You know? I'm just going to say this. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. I like that. Like I said, but, um, no, it's so our white lady, Suki, she is one of our most prevalent spirits here. She's actually the only person we know to have died down there. She was murdered by three young men. So uh, she is quite hostile towards young men. I've literally had handprints on my clothes in chalk. I had my hair yanked against the wall. I had to go get stitches in the back of my head. What? I got really excited and then felt really bad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> sort of started working here the week that you guys actually came and shot. So it was a couple oh, of weeks really? after, it was a couple of weeks after that. So oh, no way. Yeah. Did you guys okay. like trigger something? Yeah, or something? it's just like, been building up since you we were here. What? Before. what? It has got I will say it has got a lot worse since you guys kept here last time. <laughs> a lot more hostile energy. We have had production companies come in, open portals that can't be shut. So yeah, it's definitely got a lot more hostile. Okay. Just a warning. God. Obviously, I'm sure you guys are well up for it. Um, but yeah. Would you mind started. taking Absolutely. us through and whatever you want to course. tell us, you can tell us? It is obviously pitch black, so just be careful of your footing. The Hellfire Club rumoured to be one of the largest satanic groups at the time. So they said to do a lot of satanic practice, a lot of devil worship as well. And it's thanks to this guy in here, well, Anakin, that we do not know anything. Because on his deathbed, he ordered for all of the records of the club to be burned. But this is Paul Whitehead. Okay. He was the secretary of the club. And Paul Whitehead, as so he would sign everyone in. So if you went talking about the club, he could shut you up very quickly. So he'd take down your name, your address, uh. your occupation. Originally, Paul Whitehead, he left two things to Sir Francis when he died. His heart and the deposit for a marble urn, which is still in here today. And his heart was placed in there and put up in the mausoleum oh. until the Georgians were weird. They used to use it for a twisted show and tell sort of thing. So you'd pay a couple of pennies and you could feel the heart oh. and touch it. And, oh. Yeah. That's yeah. That's very weird. How much is it now? It was stolen in oh, okay. 1829. Okay, got it. Yeah, so that's why Paul is apparently wandering around, sort of screaming for his heart. And if you do not respond, I do not have your heart. In return, he will take yours out of jealousy. Ooh. So I'm not responsible for any loss of limbs or okay. organs, by the way. All right. Wait, so that is the real urn, though? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. It is the original. Which right here. That's on his urn? Yep. What is it? Was, it by, it? was it by his request, do you know? Like, did he choose um, to have this on All we know him? is that he left the 50 pounds for the deposit of the urn. That's all we know. Huh. As you can see, it's quite phallic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one man uh, being um, um, apprehended from behind by another man. So... All of these faces oh. were actually commissioned um, from Sir Dashwood to an artist called William Hogarth. He was a very famous painter and sculptor at the time. And Sir Dashwood brought him in and asked him to carve all of the faces of people he considered members of the club into the walls. So, you know, when all this sort of Satanism is all rumours, why on earth did Sir Dashwood, you know, believe that the devil was one of the members of the club? Etched into the walls of here forever. Yeah. You know, and you can see, obviously, yeah. Demonic smile used to be painted a bright red. Wait, so are there other faces still here? About 47 I've counted. So you can hear how the echo changes. Because the ceiling is 60 foot up. Little word of warning, man, we're putting them out. Because we're directly onto the graveyard, so we get tripped on the body juice. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you'll see orbs, shadow figures. We actually have a 10 foot shadow figure that likes to stand here and guard the way down to the bottom, because past this point is only when those superior members of the club were allowed. So technically, past this point, no one but them is welcome. Mm -hmm. So that's why people say, and I don't know if you guys experienced when you were here last, that down the bottom is where you get a lot more of your negative energy, mm -hmm. because no one's welcome down there. This is also the room where that lady died. The story of that is that she was one of the young girls, she was a maid that worked in the inn in the village in the Georgian Dragon, which you would have passed on your way here. She was very poor, she wanted something better for herself in life, and she fell in love with one of the lords that were passing through. So then later on in the day, she had a letter passed underneath her bedroom door, telling her to come and meet her at the caves, as the sky had fallen in love with her, and he wanted to run away with her to London. So she donned a white dress and took a lantern, came up to the caves. She couldn't find him on the surface, but she heard a voice calling her from inside the caves. 
So she followed it down all the way, didn't find this lord, but found three of the local village boys stood there. And apparently they burst into fits of laughter. She was obviously distraught, realising she'd been tricked. Picked up some rocks off the floor, threw them at the boys. Again, they thought this was hilarious. They retaliated, picked up more rocks, threw them back at her, one struck her in the head. Again, this piece of, I was literally, my hair was all longer, I stood here, literally went back into that oh, hole. Oh, you hit your head right there. there. Yeah. The, obviously the banqueting hall is directly underneath the graveyard. The inner temple is directly underneath the altar of the church. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, a, I always say, like, how did the you know, Egyptians build the pyramids? How on earth did they know, you know, in the, seven, in the 1750s, you know, to dig this so it was exactly at those you know, specific points? And you'll see when we get up to the mausoleum, the centre pillar of it is directly central to the main road that they built. Oh, so that's a 3D. Whoa, that's yeah. it's like a lidar 3D so cool. rendering. Mm -hmm. Oh, literally. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. And obviously, people say that there are hidden tunnels everywhere, but surely they should have shown up on that. The point we're coming up to is actually called the Saints and Sinners Path. And this was said that you had to choose whether you believed yourself to be a saint or a sinner and take the right path. If you lied, then judgment would apparently come to you. Not necessarily instantly. That way is your sinner's path. That way is your saint's path. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I'll let you guys make your judgment. I'm definitely. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. do this way. <laughs> this is a bridge. It does go underneath us. You can see. Is that River Styx? The River Styx in Greek mythology is the river between the living and the dead. Mm -hmm. This is where you'd pay the ferryman and you know, all the lost souls were in the river and you would go across into hell. In here is where they did apparently all of their Satanism, all of their sacrifice. In here was where only the 12 brothers were allowed. Literally, yeah. if you dug up, you'd be in the altar of the church. Wow. So as you say, it's like your heaven above and your man dug hell below. <laughs> so in here as well, we had, it was the week before Santa Claus came here, we had a production company come in and bring a Satanist. He drew a pentagram on the table, her blood candles and he was literally toast, hail Satan this, hail Satan that. Blew out the candles, I'm not even joking you. Instantly, I was like, <sighs> they came down here, blessed it. They put like blessed silver coins in the walls, you know, sprayed us with holy water. And then the girl who was doing the healing, she went, Well, that port was never gonna shut. <gasps> and looked at me and went, You need to go and cut your home right now and get me like sage, sandalwood, all of this incense. Hi. We're suited up, we're ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. The fact that you're leaning on a motorcycle, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> I wouldn't want the dude who's about to summon the devil to ride anything other than this. <laughs> if you would have showed up in a Prius, I'd be like, money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm good, we're not, we're not doing it. Well, like honestly, whatever it is that you want to do, whatever method you want to try, we're, we're on board for it. No limits. Who the one yeah. child? <laughs> she's in the one she's in the <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is gonna happen? I now I'm you're concerning me, all um, of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are these related to you? This is the first month case I've dealt with. Okay. And I use this to show people how dangerous it can get. This is the very first case. And were you able to help yeah, yeah, yeah. solve okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these, these are no Is this the same person? It's the same person. This is oh this is all in one day. This poor person. Is it your museum, I'm assuming? Is no, it's a okay. friend of mine's museum. Is, it, yeah. is that entity still in that museum? Oh, yeah. How long has it been there? About two years. Oh, so these are very recent then. This happened during COVID. Oh, Got wow. it. See, like I said, whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stab vests on, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, <laughs> I'm only vulnerable right here. <laughs> right here and the entire group. This is, it's a whole another vibe with just cameras. So, how, how good are you paranormal like, site proceedings are? Honestly, not really. No, I'm, I'm more dependent on tools. Only like three, maybe four times in the last four or five years have like, I seen something. Straight up and really look at what to think about. So, I don't want a dog hide, so about this hike when you walk into the movie. You can see that right now. So, uh, you know when you look at a road in the haze of summer, you see the little haze, the heat haze. Mm -hmm. Look for that in the shadow right hand side against the wall. Being followed down. And what do you think it is? 
don't know what it is. All right, I'm a little morbid. <laughs> Do you know what it is? You know what it is too. Mm -hmm. This is common. Okay. Down with you guys. Stare back and just what? What? There's a woman in there. There's a woman in there. Yeah. Teenage years. Probably between 14 and 18. It looks like a white dress, but it's it's dirty. It's yeah. You know, like when somebody's been pushed over and it's full of dirt and there's like rips and tears. Blonde hair girl. It's got blood. There. Mm -hmm. She's really angry. She's really pissed off. Not, not a boss. But from a situation. Mm -hmm. Is that usually when people see her or sense her in the hallway? So that's where I, the first time I ever saw her was um, down there when I was doing my guided tour. Yeah. And then, I mean, she's between here. She's often spotted on the hill at Mausoleum as well. She's sort of, her energy flows. And she feels she feel like that. You had any problems with your stomach? Yes. It was bubbling. Why, why did you say that specifically? How did you know that? Felt it. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay. No, but the only person in the entire room that wants to map out is Willow. Really? Yeah. I just scanned over everyone and it skipped over every single person except for Willow. Huh. Yeah, that's so bizarre. Yeah, Ben is not showing up at all, not even Jonah with the camera, not even with the lights. No. Oh yes, Spawn yes. Ranch. Ranch. The last place we investigated. Yeah. yeah. Because when you guys turned up, we couldn't work out the top. Don't worry, we'll get, we'll sort it out by the time you leave. Yeah. So what did you just give him to calm him down then? That is an angular. That's been blessed by a religion going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you never give her anything? By the time you leave, with that. You know what's crazy? The whole stuff I think right now is not, it just went away. That is so weird. I feel so weird now. Yeah. Strangely calm. Have you not noticed where you stood? Huh? Have you not noticed where you stood when you walked in? Uh-huh. Yeah. You stood inside a circle. You are oh, you are. You're literally you're right inside the circle. Wait a minute. Y'all set me up for something. What, what is going on here? Like the last few minutes, I've been like, this is a really weird yeah, camera setup. Like, everyone, and I was like, yeah, this is what's known as subconscious. Mm. Well, subconscious self cleansing. Mm. The reason I fell back is because you guys walked exactly where I wanted you to walk to make sure he was safe inside a circle when I give him. You can vertically set up the circle around it. And what did you hand him? I don't know. Well, because everything we handed him, now he's the one dominantly showing up. Yeah. Oh, and the SLS is dominantly showing up? Yeah. Not so angelic. So, God, stuff that don't get used anymore. The stomach being king egg. What the heck would that say? I can't have a bet. <laughs> Dude, that's, 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 the stomach pain just came back. But at Spawn Ranch, didn't we come across the idea that it was like, visually looks like we're all white, Manson was extremely racist, and there was something that happened where we thought like, you were being called out? Yes. Very early in, right? Yes. That was, it was a while ago, right? There was something like that where we were like, oh, 
Helter Skelter. And... Okay, I have a question. Yeah, sure. So, since you helped Jerry with the attachment, is it safe to say now anything that happens to Jerry, like if he's having feelings or stomach issues, now it's related to something that's from here, yeah. not something from before? Yeah. Well, okay. It'll be safe enough now. Okay. His neck place has been blessed. You know it's very challenging to keep this fire. quite impressive to be fair. I'm doing very well, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, the fire's turning low again. I am 
I'm now conscious, I guess. How does your back feel? Good. I'm not, I'm not in pain. I'm good now. But that was, that's so weird. I don't remember sitting down. That was insane. What is happening? What happened? He was helping you. And then you started to wobble a little bit, so he sat you down. And then he was still helping you, and then you just... No, dude, it was instant. Upright, boom, it's done. Not like... That was last Okay, I'm gonna ask another odd question, but I feel like it's very fitting. Knowing the era what this room was used for, he is also the only not visually white person in here. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. she Yeah. Mm. Again, you think all these members of the club would have been, you know, white, middle aged men? Yeah. That's that's highly. That's that's also the other thing I'm like realizing is that he, out of all his looks, one. Feel okay though? Is yeah, there like any dizziness, wooziness, oh, back pain, yeah, like stomach? I feel as I feel so much more clear than I was when I first stepped in there. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like when I first stepped in here, it felt foggy, it felt woozy, and like the chills. The chills. We were just talking about them. Right. I'm just gonna get a couple minutes while I get rid of this. Now. Yeah. Oh, you've seen stuff like that happen. Yeah, I've had to drag people out, like literally people, you know, sit back. You know, I'm just quite old. Literally, some people I've literally had to drag out the case because they, you know, clicked in front of them, clapped in front of them, not behind the eyes. Soon they got to the surface. Come around. Sorry, you said earlier to always leave one of these guys on? Mm hmm. Surge. Right, let me do that one. Brad said surge. Big power surge. What did you say when he hit the ball? He said energy. Um, Sounds sorry. for energy off you, off and on to me. Yeah. The energy is that stuff now. Just <laughs> move it, enjoy it, and go. <laughs> Man, it's even really the best you would learn your vocabulary. <laughs> enjoy, be dope. <laughs> Straight up out of the obelisk right now. Yeah, I must have missed what Andy was doing. What what happened? What's happening? I just see the first time he's gone. What is this example? Oh, this person. So. So this guy's been walking around here. He's walking out. I don't know who he is. He's got quite tall this now, so he's not giving me any information. Look, that is actually red. So it looks like a red one. Look, say it, people. And the strange thing is that he's not drawn to us for it. You guys, and I think the thing is, it's the accent. What was that? Did you hear that? Yes. And the strange thing is that he's not drawn to us for it. It's you guys, and I think the thing is, it's the accent. here, you put your energy into it, it allows you already. So it's confirming that you've already put your energy into it. Okay, then I'll assume you know how to use that one, putting your energy into it and choosing the words you want to push forward. This device 
is, in our opinion, the hardest one for us to ever see be activated. And this to us is always an instant confirmation of whatever it is that you're trying to say and answer. So by bringing your energy to right there, then we know that is precisely what you want us to be asking, talking about. And one time is a yes, a longer one is a no. And these, just put your energy into in any way you can, or anyone else that might be in the room. This device allows us, in theory, to be able to hear your voice. We'll all ask questions, we'll be pure silence. And when we listen back, we can hear the things that you wanted to say. We are in the bottom of the Hellfire Caves. We believe we can see someone in this chamber or down the corridor. Could you tell us your name or what your role was here? Are there multiple of you currently here with us right now? If we're speaking to the man in the drawing, can you tell us why you feel so attached to this place? To whomever stole Jerry's energy, was it for good or evil purposes? specific you want with me I feel like there is an, uh, something on me right now and I can't really get my head around it are we communicating with somebody who was associated with the church or are we speaking to somebody who did rituals and sacrifices here? Buddha, England. You answered my question, but I'm sorry I couldn't understand you. Did you use Jerry's energy for good or evil purposes? Ending. So weird of all questions you were asking, this is Buddha England. And they were known for like mocking. Yeah. But Buddhism wasn't one of them. I mean, it's the biggest religion in the world, I think, or something else. Thank you. 
Sound like you go church? No. Rituals down here? Hell yeah. Yeah. That does sound like hell, yeah. Well, you think using language early, like dope and stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe it might be trying to, obviously it's quite, you know, American colloquial language, it might be trying to communicate with that. Yeah, it sounds like it goes, no, hell yeah. After the questions, it's not like the verbal whatever is over top of our questions, it's mm-hmm. after. So it's something that's curious, so it's going to be answering the questions, it's going to want to communicate. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. definitely trying to communicate. It's getting better at time, too. The first time was like a little grumbling, but now it's. Louis felt like hi, hi, hi. Yeah, it did. Like the. Hell yeah. 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 It definitely said no. Nope. Can I ask Are a question? You- with this? Yeah. Yeah. Uno, dos, tres. Do you want all of us to leave and hide and leave Jerry alone? Can we get a hell yeah? I think I cut it. With what jewelry. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we're the we have Washington. Why would you do that? Elton said, call out whatever, and it was a thought that went through my head. Oh. She also said earlier to, to go with what you're feeling. Guys. And Evan felt like as if the feeling was that you should be in here alone when we can all go hide. By myself? Play it back. What if I pass out? Well, I don't know, lay on the floor first. <laughs>
human we hand on it. It's like a little ritual, but we can do it, can we? So, Jerry, all we ask you to do is just stand there. You don't have to do anything at all. He's good at that. <laughs> yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I hate them so much. Guys, <laughs> stop. Okay, all you got to do is stand there. Your face is real dead. And we'll get spirits moving forward and backwards to get this and that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. So this is altar like, like this. Right. Altar, decompose, pinky. Oh, okay, we're also below the altar of the church. Oh. Uh, Decompose pinky carbon. So you guys can ask as many questions as you like once we have established yes and no answers. Okay. And then how do the spirits answer? Oh, I don't know. I was going to say I have no idea what's about to happen, but I'm going to just go with the flow. Yeah. So if you face that way, so if you go too far backwards or too far forwards, we're going to catch you. Okay. Are we all right with that? Yes. So to the spirits around us, we're calling you into the room, listen to the sound of my voice. We've got Jerry here. By pushing Jerry forwards or backwards, can you show me clearly your answer for yes, please? Okay. Oh, f <laughs> Have we got a male spirit with us at the moment? Yes. Okay. Have we got a female spirit? Spirit, have you followed us around all night? You are getting the, the look on his face in pure confusion. <laughs> Spirit, are you drawn, drawn to Jerry for any particular reason? Is this Susanna who we're speaking with right now? Hi Suki, I know you like to interact. Thank you for showing me on the K2s. Is there, is it a name link that is why you're wanting Jerry or does he look like some of the people that hurt you? Yeah. Thank you for answering. Suki, are you the one who took all of Jerry's energy earlier? Do you know that Jerry's not anyone to hurt you, don't you? No, what I just realized now is that Jerry hit his head. What happened to Suki was she got hit in the head mm. by a rock. It was like equally reciprocated. Mm. It's so intentional, man. Yeah, because the back of the head is what would knock you out instantly. Is that what you were trying to communicate with Andy earlier? The information you wanted to get across? Do you enjoy being here? Do you enjoy spending all your time in the caves? I'm in this room now, Suki. Is there one that you recognize? The one that you've seen before? Is there a person in this room that you followed down here? I start further and further back each time now. Get close to the ground. Suki, you don't normally come down this far. Is tonight a special occasion? Why? Or is it the people that are in here tonight? I also said wood. The exact same time we got so I didn't say it. Oh, wow. Susan, did you come down following the dog? Suki, were you the one making the noises on the Panasonic and communicating with us? You're not pushing, right? No one's pushing me right now? No, this is the pushing moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a 
pressure this is on. What is going on? The lady that I'm pointing to now, you look at the willow. She's there. Are you gonna follow us around all nice? Nice. Or are you going to follow me for the rest of the night? If you need the energy, take it off me in five minutes. Just give me a confirmation, that's all right. Suki, is there anything that we need to be concerned of down here? Anything that might do us harm? Suki, are you wanting to protect Jerry? Hmm. Do you like Jerry's energy? Is the reason that you're protecting him because I was concerned about him earlier? Mm. Suki, so one last question from me. The drawing there on the table, do you recognise that map? Is he out in the hallway? Is he someone we're going to meet later at the mausoleum? Do you think we should be worried and cautious when we go up to the mausoleum later? When Jerry fell and hit his head earlier, was that an accident? Trying to demonstrate what happened to you. Don't worry, I think this can happen to you. I need to question. I just want to reiterate, Suki, that everyone in this room is not here to harm you. So you know me, you've met Andy multiple times. We're not here to hurt you. You can open up to us, you can answer our questions, okay? I know it's a lot, you've done so well so far. Are there any other messages that you want us to figure out from you before we leave here tonight? So you acknowledge that you were hit in the head and you were translating that over to Jerry. And you also acknowledge that you did pass away here. Do you remember what happened to you in between? Oh, it's going again! 
it, it, it turned it. off. It stopped and now it's going again. Yeah, I left this on the whole time. <laughs> so in order, it said spread orb. It's going it's so it's crazy. It's going again. So it says spread orb. So it's possible to look for that. Mend movie. Kill George without reap. Does alive. Notice scene. Tall house. Clairvoyant. August pop stood decided. Just stop right it stopped right now. It just stopped. Oh! What the heck? Okay. Whoa. This is crazy. So ever since we started reading that. He. And he also said that that is where this figure is. Mm. Say it again. And he said that that's where the figure is. Oh, it's lighting up again. And it's gravel. It's not like it's a flat wooden floor where it could possibly roll. It's that's gravel. Not yeah, and also it's been there the whole time. And the other ones are not moving, or not lit up. It's not sound. Yep. <laughs> okay. Made stop aware. Instantly. You made us aware to stop. Okay, I don't know. Let's we'll just go with it. Who cares? Let's see what happens. Yeah, well, let's try, let's try this first. Okay. okay. Yeah, now it's completely off. We've all walked by a bunch. Of what? Oh my god. Are you here because you want to teach us something? Can you confirm your name? Can we help you with anything? Are we in danger now that our guides left? Is this a new spirit that we're speaking with? Why is your energy on this side of the gate? Are you afraid to enter the ritual room? Ending. I don't think there's anything <clears throat> like the only thing I hear that we all hear I think. Dirty manual caress. Orb. Orb again. The first time that one's ever come Mom. Wife. Wife heart done in order across two different devices and capital. Yeah, Paul Whitehead's heart was in the, the urn. Yeah. At least to hold it. That's great. Uh, that, yeah, none, none of these have gone off until now. Is that three? Is this one on or not? Well, just no, actually. What's going on? That's not even us. Whoa. 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 Still going on. What well, you're saying. Hey, you, do you want someone in here alone? Seems to be what you're leaning towards. Almost like it, almost like it was there, it came here, and now it's in the yeah. center room. You want Elton to stay here alone and speak to you and figure out who you are? What if that's what it was saying earlier? Earlier it was saying party, but the parties would be... Yeah, in the banquet hall. The banquet hall. Yeah. <laughs> Please stay back. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. Yeah. Wow. Is it? Oh, it's almost over here. 
That entity's here. That entity's here. What? Don't. Am I tripping? Uh, I swear I saw something flash by now. You will see me. Who are you? What did it look like? It was just like a thing, like. I, I can't even pinpoint it. Is it like a shadow figure or like a... Literally from straight ahead on the left hand side, just like... Like how far ahead do you think it was? Do you like see that camera. light faint of light? I can see it on my camera. Do you see it? Yeah. So that faint of light just went dark and light again. So this had a glare on the wall here. I saw the glare, but like... It got covered at one point. So because of this light, you saw movement. You saw like a yeah, shadow go past it. I think so. I am now in the ritual room entirely alone. This is something that you clearly stated that you wanted. And now you have it. Why? I have another device that I think you can speak more clearly and easily through. Would you prefer that? I see your energy is over here. Is there anyone else that would like to take a seat? Anywhere else in the room? Or even approach the gate? This is where Suki Ben. This is where they would do their banquets and parties and I think some of the sacrifices as well. And this is also where underneath the graves. graveyard. Okay, I'll set this here for now. But this is where the tally marks are. Yeah. Jenny. 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 Are these names of girls that were down here that lost their lives. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. So it almost sounds like it's playing music, but it did just like a. a... Does it? It's not just like beep 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 whatever. It's like, and it it holds the note. Speaking to a member of the Hellfire Club. 
B-A-B-S. What was your name when you were in the club? Everyone had an anonymous name when you were in here. The records are destroyed. There's no way for me to be able to search it. What did you... Viper? What used to take place in this room? How many of you are in here in this cave right now? A boy. A boy. A boy what? Some of these lights are flickering. They're turning off and on. Why don't we introduce ourselves? We yeah. still haven't done that all night. Yeah, that's true. Hello, everybody. Hi, <laughs> hello. My name is Jerry. Came from the States. My first time here in UK, first time here. Already felt a lot of... We are family. Wow. <laughs> already feel a lot of energy and, and I don't know, a lot of unknown wanted to know more about you as individuals. Hello, my name's Ginger. Um, we've been very excited to come here ever since we left our homes in America. And today we're here to learn about you, to take any messages you have for us. Um, we're, we're really excited that you're learning how to use our tools already. We have, we have a couple tools out. Oh, and you're back on that one. <laughs> this is so insane. Now that you know how to activate them, we'll start to use them to communicate with you. We'll ask you questions and we can go from there. Hello, my name's Evan. Uh, this is my second time here at the caves. And uh, I'm here to help document your stories and tell what happened here. Unfortunately, it seems like things that happened here back in the past still happen today. And we just want to solve that and make sure that people don't get... Record. Yes, that I am recording. recording. <laughs> uh, we just don't want history to keep repeating itself. So if we can stop these types of things, that would be great. And we're sorry that these terrible things have happened to you. There are rumors that sacrifices took place here. Vast. Vast. Vast sacrifices. Is this where you would sit then? Is that why you feel lifeless when you're over here? I'll ask again. Of all the things you did here,
Can you confirm that there are still <laughs> sinister things happening here? That way. Which? I need them. Do you want me to go towards the river? I'm guilty. I'm guilty? Oh. Oh, maybe this is a less deserving of sympath sympathy person that we're talking to. Damn. Well, whoever is here, if, you, if, you're, if you're here to communicate because you're looking for support from something that happened to you or even seeking forgiveness of something that you did here, it's been hundreds of years, so we're even if you've done something horrible in the past, we'd be open to hearing you out and being there and hearing your story. And for the same, if anyone who's had anything terrible happen to them here, we feel you and we're here for you. Is there anyone here with us still? Scratch. Scratch. We're not here to harm anyone and we hope that no one's here to harm us either. If there is a male presence in this room, can you tell us your name? Sorry. Was that sorry to us? Or was that a sorry to all the women that got hurt and abused here? What if this male figure that came in saying sorry he, instead of, he accidentally scared away all the females, what if he actually wants to apologize? Because now that we're here to help communicate, he actually wants to apologize for his actions. Yeah. You're trying to tell us something, so tell us. What are you guilty for and what are you sorry for? Now is the time to admit it. Children want to speak. Now would be a good time to share. Okay, it still works. It's just so weird that it stopped completely. Oh, that's so bizarre. Dude. Yeah, you're going it was to space. so insanely active. And like, almost like, yeah, like, when Jonas started introducing himself, I'm guilty. Everything just went quiet. Yeah. After that, like, like almost literally, like someone just came in and was like, "Y'all better shut up. Don't say a word." Yeah, he got everyone else. Right. The temple is down. Jerry earlier. 
that your attempt at escape Feels like something scared them away. Yeah, for sure. I think so. When you sit right here on this bench, you immediately feel for what is energy being destroyed from you. Yeah, 
said, there's tricksters. I got like a name, like a, like their their pseudonym that they would have used when here, because they obviously didn't use a real name once they walked through the gate. And then next door is you. And then like two things, and then that was, and then it just went completely flat. And I just got very very confused and couldn't figure anything out. That lines up perfectly with the one and only thing I got like a concrete answer on was there was something down here that was trying to escape and their attempt to escape was when they knocked you out and the reason why it failed is because they you fell because they used too much power on you so instead of like they got greedy basically and tried to like attach to you to escape with you but instead they overpowered you knocked you out and it didn't work that was the only thing i got that was literally the only thing i got and then it just went completely flat after that and nothing else made sense <laughs> Couldn't use me. Shouldn't use Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you look at that. Now we gotta walk up there in the rain. Let's do it. That's crazy that we're just like walking on top of the cave system now. <laughs> what was built first? The cave first, I think. And then they lined it up perfectly and built yeah. this. After. So this, this was finished, what, late 1700s? Yeah. Okay. Did the same people who built the caves build these? Yeah. It's actually woods. Oh, this is insane. Sarah. Sarah's here. Whoa. Yeah, I was not expecting this. At all. Yeah, we beat him up here, that's for sure. Holy goodness. Holy goodness. This is ginormous. <laughs> we'll all start talking in a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired. That was a steep hill. Miles will be here, which means the church is just a little bit further that way as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's further around. They should come around from that way. From the church side? Yeah. Can we see the church if we walk around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm curious. Let's do it. And now seeing what this looks like, I can only imagine how hidden the cave entrance was. Yeah. When you see like what the mausoleum is surrounded by, that cave entrance was probably just so minuscule. Wait, are we going the right way? I think so. Oh. Yep. <laughs> we just followed that church. Oh wow. Also, I feel like there for sure had to be secret tunnels because if you're at that room at the dead end, yeah. there's no escape. That is very true. Yeah. That is very, very true. Oh yeah, that was a harder way to get there. There's a mausoleum. We went the fun way. Oh wow, a whole cemetery. It's so weird. It's like walking through this at night. For fun. There's a frog right here though. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think we just found bones. We found yeah. bones. Wait, legit? Yeah. Wait, here. legit, legit? Here, we found bones. What do you mean? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. So cute! Can I hold it? <laughs> Don't drop him. What's up, buddy? Yeah, he's a toad, isn't he? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. Did you drop him? Okay, alright. Back where we started. One toad catch later. The fact that we have keys to this is crazy. Yeah. Wow. How many times have you investigated in here? Uh, this will be my third. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Willow. Hi. Oh, these these pots, are these actually? People, yeah. Yeah, I thought they were. Oh. The so, the so the... The ones on the bottom, sort of down here, we, they, I mean, you can read them all, they're members of the family. The ones higher up, we don't know, they're not named. Okay, but they are actually of? People, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, so those are all 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. They get the and they like slide like, them in, right? Oh, no. the urn. No, the urn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, urns are both. Cool. So Paul Whiteheads used to be over here. Is this extremely uncommon in the UK? As in? Like to have this level mausoleum <laughs> for one yeah. family? Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is ridiculous. So all the, so again, chalk and flint of this was from the caves as well. Mm. So when they dug out the caves, they also restored the church, which you walked around, and then what they built the mausoleum as well around the same so time. So church was first. So the church has been here for years. It used to be, what, like 1300s, I think it was. Holiday. Okay. Um, but it, it, the hill itself used to be like a pagan ritual site, you know, centuries ago. Yeah. And then he just, the ruin, the church was left in ruins, so Sir Francis decided to build it back up and then built this place as well for his family. Crazy. Mm-hmm. There's, there's so many family members here. Middle Urn is completely central to the main road that they built. Oh, yeah, huh? Completely. And then this middle urn is also completely central to the 60-foot ceiling yep. party chamber room. Mm -hmm. So in theory, you have your sexual act rooms, like, directly surrounding this, right? And right below us. Obviously under the graveyard as well. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish we came up here first. <laughs> I should have come up here first because I've never seen this before, ever since I've seen the caves. Sarah? Lady Sarah? That? No way. Oh. It said Sarah. No way. Yeah, the Sarah. moment we're walking up, it says Sarah. Yeah. I believe so. Sarah. Sarah Baroness Le Dispenser died wow. 1769. Yeah. And this Sarah. is the wife of, of who? The first of Francis Holmes? Mm -hmm. So, the one who dug the caves is dad. Oh, you okay. got it. But, yeah, Sarah is a family name. It's a lot of, a lot of them married Sarahs. So it's just a common name at the time. Oh, yeah, there it is, Sarah as well on this side. January the 19th. Female excellence perpetuated the memory signed to the virtues and graces that continued female excellence. Crazy. Insane. When we're walking up with Cicera, I was like, oh, it's just another female name. Yeah. You know? Of all the names, the yeah. one right in the center of the entire mausoleum. Well, do we want to try anything? I mean, I could put the Panasonic like underneath there and not get it rained on. Sure. But any of the other gear, I feel like, is at high risk. Yeah. High risk of destruction. How far away were you when you got Sarah? Uh, halfway up. The moment we saw the mausoleum. Yeah, that's pretty crazy to think about like that, uh, that range of communication. Yeah. Were you the one that was trying to communicate with us while we're walking up to the mausoleum? If this is Sarah we're talking to, do you know what happens underground, underneath your urn? Are you proud of your family's legacy? And dang, just see if that got anything over here in rain at all. Were you the one that was trying to communicate with us while we were walking up to the monthly? If this is Sarah we're talking to, do you know what happens underground, underneath your urn? Are you proud of your family's legacy? Try one more time and see. Are the rumors of the horrendous things done in the now known as the Hellfire Club below, are those rumors true? Were there, in fact, any tunnels that are no longer able to be found now? If you knew that this was going on, did you partake or help cover up any traces of any activities that were happening down there? Ending. Let's see. Are the rumors of the horrendous things in the now known as the Hellfire Club below. Are those rumors true? Are there in fact any tunnels that are no longer able to be found now? Uh, if you knew that this was going on, did you partake or help cover up any traces of any activities that were happening down there? Hmm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not nothing. a single wow. thing. Wow. Do you have any questions you want to ask? 
Not necessarily. I mean, we've never really contacted Sarah. Got it. Personally, when we've done it up here, the yeah. person we've contacted is Paul Whitehead. Paul Whitehead mm. up here. Mm. Yeah. Or believed to have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're choosing here because of the uh, rain cover, and also yeah. you got the name Sarah. <laughs> Crazy. Has anything come up on that? Nope. Nothing oh, really. Oh, actually. Yeah, I think you have it on mute. Oh wow. Or disconnected from the. Are uh, you recording? Huh. Yes, we're recording. Ruth, he's dangerous, stabbed. My name is Harry, Wendy, Locke. Are you recording? Oh, there. Wow, that's a lot. Is there a Harry up here? Harry. Does it ring a bell? I thought it said Harry, it says Henry. All the Dashwoods. Huh. Captain the Prince of Wales. This is a really cool place to see. So, so cool. Yeah, I think Jonah's, Jonah's point that he just made coincides like with what I was getting mm -hmm. in the ritual room is like, they've kept their secrets for hundreds of years. Like, why are they gonna tell us? anything hmm. you know because that's what i was getting down there it was like i got like a pseudonym but then hmm. and then i got no information about like what they did it was just like that was it and then it just all went away and then it seems like you guys kind of yeah, got the same, same thing you got a little bit yeah. but yeah it's like all the records are burned like yeah as jonah said like they're all obviously uh buried way high up on this hill separated from everyone else in the graveyard like, yeah. high society yeah it's like, why give answers? Yeah. Excuse you know? me, tell me about all the sketchy shit you guys were doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it explains like why people get scratched and pushed yeah. and, and knocked out because they're just still doing the same. Blacksmith. The same things that they did. But it's like, when you're like, all right, what's your name? It's like, come on. Yeah. Come on. No one knows our names. So you think we're all, we're going to tell you? Right. We're going to tell you, little American? That also would make sense why they would say that they're sorry and whatever the other apologetic word we got but they won't say what they're sorry for. Yeah, that's yeah. what I got too. I got like, I would do sinister things and I was like, but what? Yeah, And exactly. And then it, it, nothing, it just went silent. So it always yeah. like tell me like, yeah, we did dark things, but I'm not gonna tell you what they are. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. got, I'm guilty, sorry. And we said, what, what are you guilty of? Why are you sorry? It was like, tell don't me. provoke us. Yeah. Have you gotten any like further answers in all the times you've been here and investigating? I mean, again, we've sort of, again, just had like, as you say, rumors and stuff, but then as soon as it seems like either they're trying to tell us something or just alluding to something, it just completely shuts off. Yeah, okay. That's, it's, yeah. that's precisely what we had exactly. tonight, but on it's, obviously a one night scale. No, it's, yeah, it's, you know, as you say, they've kept this for so many years and, you know, they are people with such a high reputation. Why would they want to slander that? You know, now they've kept themselves in this mausoleum, then, you know, that's higher than the rest of, you know, the town, the village that they would technically not rule over, but, you know, yeah. at least govern over. I mean, significantly higher. Yeah. 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 And you think, well, they put themselves also above where the, all these sinister happenings were going on, you know, right. stuff that, you know, they, you know, did in the dark or, you know, didn't do in front of people's eyes. And now they're saying, oh, yeah, look, even in death, we're still above you all. That yeah. sort of thing. So, oh, that's crazy. That's the perfect metaphor. It is, like, yeah. Burying all the horrible exactly. stuff while they're presenting this high, like, mm -hmm. elite, separate from all. Yeah. Because it was, it was, you know, elite, it was elite social club at the time. Yeah, originally it started from like, like poetry, art, music, and then obviously it turned into what it did. So. Yeah, it's, it's a great way to guarantee too that like your club, assuming they thought it would go on for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. would never be destroyed because they controlled what was above it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you, you knew. It's, unless someone destroys this, this massive monolith, this mausoleum is always going to be here. Which is never going to happen. Case. Who would exactly. ever destroy a mausoleum? Yeah. You know, this is, this is, you know, it's a sacred burial ground. You know, well thought out. Them are memories of whatever happened down there, Satanism, sacrifice, whatever else. Yeah, what a crazy way to like, yeah, because by destroying the caves, you potentially risk destroying this. Yeah. Exactly. So you can never destroy, like, yeah, you can never destroy, like, what they built yeah. below but without it, destroying what's again, above. If someone does try and destroy it, all those secrets go with it. No one else Damn, they created like an Indiana Jones <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sex dungeon club sinister Illuminati situation. Big Illuminati vibe.